Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We've got a partially open bag already here that we are going to be reviewing from a company. You remember somebody called Number One? Yeah, a long time ago, we were getting a watch a week from those guys. There were so many numbers, it was like impossible to keep straight. And then all of a sudden, we had to kind of digest what they fed us. And now we're ready for a second feeding with DT number one giving us a brand new watch in this box called the F6. We are going to unbox that right now. But before I begin... I wanted to share with you, it's the beginning of the month, happy February 2018. Here is the printout of the, the latest uh, spreadsheet updates that are available for you to download. February 2018 of all the Android watches on the market right now. And the links that uh, are the reviews here on this YouTube channel are now clickable. And we've got more extensive data integrated into the charts. So just go to, oh goodness, what's it called? TinyURL, T-I-N-Y-U-R-L dot com slash Android Watches. And that'll take you right to a folder that will have this spreadsheet in it. And DT number one is partnering up with our buddies at GearBest to bring us this number one F6 um, that we're going to take a look at today. And they've got special promotion going on now. I don't know where they are in the chart here. Oh, I guess I do. It looks like uh, they had 10 units between January 20th and 29th at $15. Although number one's always doing special promotions. So currently, I believe it's at this price and it's going to climb up. But uh, check it out by going to the show notes. Uh, down below, clicking on the link there and head on over to our GearBest link so you can get the best price we got going for you. And if we have any special coupons, we'll have them there. But right now, they're in this whole pre launch phase uh, in partnership with number one. And inside this number one F6, you're going to find a um, Bluetooth 4.0 tethering, you know, that's going to save on energy, um, special band or watch. With a limited amount of RAM and ROM, it's not an Android type of a device. You have ring vibration in this with Bluetooth call reminder. You can do the find your phone thing, have different alarms, messaging, notifications, and different functions, including calendar and waterproof as a function. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to unbox it. 350 milliamp hour battery. Charging time about two hours, supposed to give you 120 days of standby, which is awesome. There's your measurements and compatibility. Let's get into it. It's not even sealed. And this is the prototype that they sent directly from number one, DT number one. And as typical with a lot of their newer watches, they're really bulky um, definitely protected against dropping kind of watches um, that fit in that, that aggressive sport category. You could take these things out and do just about anything with them. This claims water resistance, sport. You have an up, down button here. Start, stop button there. Looks like maybe a microphone or something. Port there and there. Heart rate, Bluetooth 4.0, it says, on both ends of it. And a uh, rather sturdy, solid TPU band with just limited holes in the middle here. You've got the charging port on the back and the heart rate diodes. Four screws to take the back off to get inside of it. And in the box, in addition to the rubber grommet and the uh, charging cable which looks like it's your becoming, ouch, standard, sorry camera, um, two connector magnetic coupler. We've seen this on a couple of different watches and it looks like it's starting to propagate to these um, more fitness oriented where you only need power. You don't need the extra two for transmission of data to a computer because you're going to do that through Bluetooth tethering with the, uh, the app that goes with it. Obviously, we've got a little cover on here. Let's take that one off and check in here for a manual. Yep, we got the book. Got the full manual book, meaning multiple languages. Starting out in English. 
giving you a description of the four different buttons that you've got. And E, shortcut page up and down button, is right at the bottom in the front. So we have an active, slightly active screen about charging. Ah, uh, there's our QR code. You're going to want to scan that QR code, and that'll be uh, able to give you directions to the WeChat app. And, of course, you can um, go over there directly and download it. I believe, okay, they, oh, no, I'm sorry, Fundu, that's the app we're going to download, the classic standard Fundu app. Um, most all of these watches use that as a default, unless you've got higher uh, health things like ECG and uh, heart rate, blood pressure, blood oxygen, then you might use a different kind of tethering app. Here's more information. You can freeze frame these pages and review them. So you get an idea of what the device can do before you even purchase it. And of course, you can download the Fundu app and check it out as well. We've heard feedback that it's not that great an app, but it is getting better. Used to be MediaTek Smart Device, which is another one you could try and see if that works. Um, Fundu Wear, now we go into different languages. Even WIIWear was, uh, was one. They all seem to kind of work with this class of uh, smartwatch. And Fundu or Fundu Pro or Fundu Wear is an app you can definitely download to give it a try. Alrighty, we got to do the obligatory charging for a couple of hours. And then we'll turn it on and run through what it can do for you. This is the number one F6. Here we go. This is one of uh, several different watch faces. You'll see those here shortly. Here's the layout. You have a start button. Once you press that, you go into like a top tier of possibilities, one of which is this data summary. You can hit the down or the up button. Here's your health um, stuff like heart rate. Here's messages if you've received any pushed from your phone. This is where you get into your sports activity area. These are your watch faces. This is all your tools and such. And we're back again. So if I hit start when I'm back at this one, it's going to tell me my number of steps, my uh, distance, and my calories burned. And then bring me back to that level again. Now if I go down, I go to the next level. If I hit start, I've got heart rate, sleep time, and I'm back here again. Press it again, and I moved over to Messages. Hit Start. There are none, but it would show different ones. Hit the Down button once more, and here's where you select your sport. I go into it. Now I'm at the second tier where I can choose running, cycling, basketball, swimming, table tennis, badminton, climbing, football, and I'm back again to that top level. If I press it once more, Go over to the next thing, which are the watch faces. Hit start. There's a digital dial, dial one. Here's the one you just saw. Here's a little bit fancier digital with more information. Here's that same digital with even more information. And I'm back again to circular. If I don't hit start, uh, I think it would... Um, no, if I do hit start, it'll take that one. And there it is, and that's the watch face now. So if I go back and light it up, now we're on a tiny little digital watch face. You have that big screen, but oh well, that's what they're giving you for that. So let's, um, we've reviewed that, we've, um, and now we're looking at the data again, down and up. We'll just cycle you through all of that. Uh, the watch faces, let's go back and choose a different watch face. Let's show you one of these. The really fancy one is this one. Select it and come back out of here. And there you go. Date, time, steps, calories burned, heart rate information, all of that. That's pretty much what the watch does. Does not have GPS. We go into this one. We have a, an ability to do a stopwatch, which looks like this. Start. Stop and reset and back out of here to where we go to the next thing, which would be find your phone if you're tethered. Your QR code, when you scan that, it'll bring up Fundu Pro. Fundu Pro 
yeah, today we're going to examine it. It's been a, a month or two, uh, so we'll take another look at the tethering app. Uh, we don't do it on every single review because it's just time consuming and it's the same darn thing over again. Then we go to a shake, which uh, when you start that, turns on the vibration, I guess, and turns it off. Yep, there's a little bit of vibration there when it's in that mode. Voice turns on or off any uh, chirps. And we'll leave them on just for now. And vision says Bluetooth, I don't know, vision, the name is smart device. And that's what you need to know for tethering is the name of the device to look for on your phone. And nothing else happens there. So I come back to the next one. Here's where you would reset the whole phone. And here, finally, is how you would power off by hitting start or turn the power off. And that is that whole section. And we're back to the very beginning again. So you got the picture, right? When we're from the watch face, you press start. You're at the top tier. Analyze your data, health, messages, set which activity you want to actually do. If you're going to use it in an activity, change your watch face, go into things like stopwatch, find your phone, get your QR code, all those things, and back to the beginning. So the magic happens not so much in the watch, obviously, as it does in the uh, tethering app itself. So we're going to jump over and take a look at Fundu Pro, which you can download from the Google Play Store right now if you want to, to get the feel for it. It does have the uh, ability to turn on and off the twist to see the time, and you'll see that here in the app. Let's bring it over. When you go to the Google Play Store, this is what you find. Fundu Pro, a kind of an upgrade from the uh, Fundu Wear that we used to be using. If you remember, there were several that would kind of work, and if you find this one doesn't work to your liking, you might want to try um, the regular Fundu Wear or a Smart Media Device, I believe was another one, or even Wear, W-I-I Wear. You can see this hasn't been updated for a while since uh, December. Well, it's February, a couple of months. Lots of downloads because it's used in lots of different uh, devices. So let's check it out. Let's open it up launches you can skip the opening if you want to and it lands you right into the middle which shows you the number of steps you've got on your watch for the day your temperature the current date where you can go back or forward to different days your um, calories burned in miles your total activity time tabs across the bottom and across the top you can see you can go to sports which is where you can do a walking record your pace and your duration and energy and elevation, and you can launch it right here from the phone. So it's more of a phone app in this regard because we don't have a GPS. See, it's getting GPS from your phone. We don't have it on the watch, so you can just leave your watch at home and go out and do all of this stuff walking with the app itself. You can pause it. You can stop it. It's too short to save, that's fine. And you got an overall settings here where you can mess around with these kind of things. And you can do your, your maps, geo del normal maps, and targets uh, to try to hit and, and set your countdown, all of that stuff in the Fundu Pro app. So there you go, it just saved you from having to go out and buy a watch. You can do it all in your phone. Download the free app. Ta-da! All right, I know. You want to watch. We're going to get you a watch. We can slide over back to here, and we can slide over here. And if you slept last night, which I didn't, obviously, you would have some sleep time information here. Light, um, deep sleep, and the duration of total sleep. And that's one more tap. Your heart rate, which I just did one at 12 noon because I have this thing set to do it... Uh, every 10 minutes from 8 in the morning until 5 in the evening. That's all part of the setup, yeah? You have quasi-continuous heart rate from 10 minutes, every 10 minutes up to every hour. But you don't have it, you know, second by second um, live on your phone. There we go. Let's get back to the center. Let's come over to me. Me is your overall summary total of information. 
that's about all it shows. I see three tabs here, but I can't for the life. Oh, there we go. I was trying to sl switch and I couldn't. There you go. Okay. It's giving you sleep step and step for the date. And this maybe is your cumulative. Ah, it does work. Okay. That's me. Your analysis is the uh, average number and total steps over the week since it just started. Uh, it's a very low average, but apparently this average will increase as you continue walking. Is there anything here to go to? Yeah. From sports statistics, we can go to sleep statistics. And of course, I don't have any sleep time for you, but it would show here five hours, eight hours, 10 hours per day. These are days of a week and give you your average and total sleep time. And obviously you can make it bigger or smaller. That's it, steps and sleep in analysis. We looked at that one, that's our home screen. Your report area shows you a graph, it shows you during the day, the 24 hours of the day, each hour, how many steps you walked. I tried it out this morning and then I tested it here at lunchtime. Um, and um, your sleep report there and your heart rate report, which I've just now started, will accumulate a graph showing your heart rate every sequence time um, that you set it to accumulate, all right? That's in our reports area, and you can change it by day as well. You can share all that out however you would like, and then more. More is where we um, can look at what our connected device is. Ooh, reminder whether to tidy equipment. I don't want to disconnect it, so it's connected right now, and you can set up application push where it'll read all of your different apps and you can turn them all on or off and select which ones you want to be pushing. You have the ability to check all, it looks like. Well, maybe not. Oh, maybe you have to have it open first and then you got to da 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 and it will normalize in the background. And then I could check all. Oh. There, checked all, unchecked all. Nice. So you could selectively do one or two of them, or you could select all of them and uncheck one or two of them, or just leave them all unchecked or turn the whole system off. That's your personal apps, and then you have all your systems apps that you have that level of capability. That's nice. They've really um, made that uh, various accessible so that you can decide exactly what you want to get notifications for. Call and SMS notifications from your phone to your watch. You can set it up to take a, a photo remotely so that the watch will act as a trigger. Your find your device is right here. It's vibrating right now. I don't hear it tweeting. You have sedentary re reminders that you can set. How often, what time frame to do it in, drinking water reminders. All the basic stuff. Remind mode, bright screen and vibration. Mm-hmm. Which is what it's going to do. Alarm clocks. This is where you have the raise the hand to see the time. Your heart rate test. Here's where I got it set from 8 to 5 in 10-minute increments, but you can set the frequency up to 60 minutes. So if you want every half hour to get a heart rate measurement you can or once every hour or whatever increment you want uh, just hit the check mark or turn it off and it won't be doing that but it doesn't go all night unless you set it to go all night which is nice and then a do not disturb mode so it won't be pushing things to you vibrating or beeping or lighting up or doing whatever between the times that you set all that is built into this fundu pro app so when you see a watch that says it tethers to Fundu Pro. Come on over and watch this little segment of this review. And I may have pointed you over here uh, to do that because now you got a summary of how the app works and you can download it directly from the App Store. Okay, that, folks, is the number one F6 sports watch. By way of summary, heart rate, Bluetooth 4.0, it has written right on the band itself. On this side, it's saying same thing. It's water resistant to IP67, I believe, so you can definitely take this underwater. 
uh, up and down, start and stop buttons. You saw how that whole thing operates. The bands look like they, I don't know, they could maybe be removed, but they're extremely solid right here. I don't think there's any antennas in them, but I don't know what you'd put on them instead because this is all integrated into the band. Um, anyway, it's a TPU band, nice and sturdy. It's a relatively thick watch, two points for charging and the uh, heart rate diode right there. And it comes to us, yeah, from GearBest. GearBest is right now offering their special introductory process on this watch. Once again, that's their pricing. I think we've missed out on $15 ones. Um, so we're up here and it's going to climb to there, but you can always check the show notes for a discount. If I can negotiate one, I'll have that there for you. Otherwise, you can also check number one because they sometimes have giveaways and special deals as well. And if there's anything going on there, I'll also have a link for you in the show notes. You've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Really appreciate your subscription because it looks like we may have some new sources for showing you watches of the future, but it's based on how many subscribers you've got. Things like Kickstart and Indiegogo when they release their final versions. Um, yeah, got something in the, in the works. We'll see if it'll come through. Anyway, thanks again for your support. However it looks, however it comes, really love that you're here. We'll see you again soon.